Hello students, welcome to my CSEC physics tutorials. In this video, I will be looking at the use of significant figures in measurement. If you are watching for the first time don't forget to like, subscribe and share. After watching this video, you should be able to 1. State the number of significant figures in a measurement and 2. Express the result of a measurement or calculation to an appropriate number of significant figures. Firstly, let us look at the rules for counting the number of significant figures in a measurement or number. Rule number one. Non-zero digits are always significant, for example, 3.561 meters has four significant figures. Rule number two. Zeros between non-zero digits are significant, for example, 305 kilograms has three significant figures. Rule number three. Leading zeros are never significant, for example, 0.0036 amperes has two significant figures. Lastly, rule number four. Trailing zeros are only significant if the number has a decimal, for example, 980 seconds has two significant figures whereas 68.0 milliliters has three significant figures. Secondly, when recording the value of a measurement, take note of the precision to which the instrument can be read. Then, record all the digits that you are sure of, plus the first digit that you must guess at. Let's illustrate this principle with an example. The ruler shown in the image can be read to a precision of 1 mm, which is 1 tenth of a centimeter or 0.1 centimeters. Looking at the right end of the object, we notice that it lines up with the ruler past the 2.3 centimeters mark. We are therefore sure of two significant figures, 2, representing 2 centimeters, and 3, representing 3 tenths of a centimeter or 0.3 centimeters. Following the principle outlined previously, we also record the first digit that we have to guess at. Based on the spacing of the scale divisions on the ruler, we can guess this digit to be 5, representing 5 hundredths of a centimeter or 0.05 centimeters. So, we record the length of the object as 2.35 centimeters. Now here's one to try on your own. What would you record for the volume of the liquid shown in the diagram? Pause the video to think about your answer. If your answer is 12.50 milliliters, then you are correct. Finally, let's look at recording the appropriate number of significant figures for the value of a calculation. In this case, the principle is, your answer should not be more precise than the least precise measurement used in the calculation. Again, we'll illustrate with an example. Suppose we are told to find the volume of a rectangular prism with dimensions as shown. To find the volume of a rectangular prism, we determine the product of its length, width and height. The product of 0.531 meters, 0.83 meters, and 1.236 meters is 0.54474228 cubic meters. But this value is way more precise than any of the measurements given. So, we must round off the final answer so that there are only two significant figures, that is, make it no more precise than the least precise measurement given. The width of the prism, which only has two significant figures. The value we record for the volume of the prism is therefore 0.54 cubic meters. That will be all for today. See you again in our next video and thanks for watching.